Bring you kids! Oh. What the fuck you find those? I just suck an officer's cock to get these. See? That's some exploitive shit. You've been exploited by your betters. You know what we need in America, man? It's a holiday where once a year, the blue collar man gets to go into the home of the white collar man, eat his food, sleep in his bed, and fuck his shit up. Corporal person, be advised. You're expected to conduct all business in this camp in compliance with the grooming standard. Under direct order from the battalion commander himself. Sergeant Patrick. Your mustache hair is in violations. Growing beyond the corner of your mouth. I hear Godfather himself say, you look like a bum. Police at least there! Y'all starting to look like Elvis's! Hey, don't push your luck. Mr. Potato Head at your six. Closing fast. Dr. Patrick! On the deck! <laughs> you mocking me? Hires hanging from your face? Beyond your mouth areas? You are unsightly, unsanitary. And in violations of Godfather's grim standards. You raise me, Sergeant Patrick. You has the old dark hunter down. Fuck yourself. Godfather tells us two weeks ago the division's having a mustache growing contest. Now Mr. Potato Head over here is laughing out pep. Well, we all got jobs to do. Sergeant Major Six's job is to be an asshole. And he excels at the position. It's the usual French talk of stall and surrender. Yes, yes, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Go, go, go! Get to the vehicle! Go, go, go! 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 Go, go, Let's do it! Move, move, move. Come on, Will! Put a move on it! That's exactly what we gotta do! Get to the vehicle! Keep two! Keep two! Get to the What do you got, Sergeant? Can you help me with the... Perform testicle surgery on the reporter. I forgot to spit out my tobacco, so I had to swallow it. <laughs> and this suit is uh, too small. That strap was crushing my nuts. Reporter, you are possibly the biggest fuck up I have encountered. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe he fits right in. Yeah. What's up with the escort? We got word a couple hours ago. We're not getting escort tanks or Cobras going over the border. Any reason you waited till now to tell me about this? Dude, what do you think they're saying? Excuse me, Mish. Tell the man that we come in friendship. Uh, Mish is... Dude! My big American friends are going to fuck you up if you don't show us some blown up tanks. And the Haji's all, Hobo, 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 Hob
These Iraqis love the fact that we're here. They fucking love freedom and they thought that those fireballs last night were fucking wicked, dude. You Americans have killed a lot of scent. The scent was very evil. The lieutenant saw. Mish, I just shit my panties. <laughs> Tell the nice man if he doesn't show me at least one blown up tank, I'll look very stupid and the other officers will laugh at me. And Mish is all, dude, throw me a freaking bonier. How about a freaking pickup truck with bolt tires? Bro, and the Haji's all, hub dubba, dubba di dubba. And Mish is, Lieutenant, this Haji dude is totally bummed. He can't save your career. He's got no tanks. But check it out. You can have his bitching daughter. The lieutenant's all weepy and shit. Fucking frat house pussy. Back to camp. I'll ride with team two. Hey. What'd the old man say? Uh, he's afraid we're going to bomb his village tonight. LT turned it down. Anybody hungry? Mount up. Stand by for short count. Good dump, Sergeant. Excellent. Shit my brains out. Not too hard, not too runny. Sucks when it's runny and you have to wipe 50 times. That's not what I'm talking about. If it's too hard or too soft, something's not right. You might have a problem that affects combat readiness. And it should be a little bit acid, Tromley. Burn your asshole a little when it comes out. Uh, maybe I'm your little bitch asshole, Ray. From all the cock that's been stuffed up in. Man, we Marines are so homoerotic. It's all we talk about. You ever realize how homoerotic this whole thing is? Corporal, just throw this next to my seat. Gotta be prepared. Never know when you might need an AK. That's why you're in charge, sir. I don't know. Captain America, man. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I think I believe the judge when he told me the Marine Corps was a superior alternative to jail. I should have shut up and done my time. I don't want none of you ladies moping and crying. Miss Stash has got to go now. Hey, turn. Scrape that hippie shit off your lip. You mocking the groomer, Standard Stafford? Nah, Sergeant Major. It's Scrooby. I want to see clean. Purdy smile before we step off. <laughs> hey, reporter. What? If you lay with your cock against the ground as the tank goes by, it feels fucking great. Come on, do it! They could be coming from all sides. Is our platoon commander okay? We'll be alright if I turn my 50 towards 6 and let off a few rounds. You guys got that? It's fucking ours. No, it's not. It's an AK. Yeah? And it belongs to a fucking platoon commander. Hitman 3, this is 3 2 interrogative. What are you engaging? Sir, why'd you shoot the car? Denying the enemy transportation. This is Hitman 3. How much longer are we gonna be halted here waiting to die in fucking ambush alley? My men really need to know. Out. Republican Guard insignia! Special Saddam Division! It's Bravo 3's commander. Should I shoot him? Don't waste your bullet. Sir, the main weapon on your point vehicle is unreliable. Given the prevailing climatic conditions, using this lubricant is like trying to buttfuck a virgin underage fuket whore with chalk. And KY is clearly called for, sir. You'll have to deal with it, Sergeant. We have four more towns to assault through today. You want logistics? Join the Army. Marines make do. I'm gonna call this one in right now. Sir, that's a con arrow with 200 meters, sir. That's danger close for artillery. Danger close. Hitman 2, 
sir. Danger close is an artillery strike within 600 meters of a friendly position. That would be us. 200 meters. It's pretty much on top of our heads. Dumb motherfucker, sir. Even the most boot fucked marine knows danger close. You're way out of line. Skipper! What the fuck is going on here? You weren't on your comms. Eric, what can I do for you? Sir, it's about the enemy AKs you've been firing from your vehicle. You're endangering us. You're not calling your targets. The AKs sound like enemy fire. Jesus Christ, Eric. Eric. Are you, sure? you fire an AK one more time, I'll fuck you up. Gentlemen. Everything squared away? Yes, sir. Captain was helping us unfuck our comms. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna hit that shit. Man, you used to wearing your desert goggles. That ain't nothing but a piece of nappy haired whiskey tango. You're right, man. You ain't hitting shit. WM like that? Nah, she'd be wearing Kevlar panties nailed on top of a concertina wire bush. Yeah, well, I'm gonna do a recon pool. I'm gonna make a path for all you motherfuckers. <laughs> shit, man. You imagine the stank on that cunt? That is exactly where I'm going. I <laughs> yes, sir, I'm gonna go down on her. Like she got <laughs> all the Saddam's WMDs buried right between her legs. Yeah. Ah, better dig deep. Oh, yeah, baby. Get in there, Jack. Give a little tap. Get in there. Stop that bad over here. Don't kill yourself like that. Shit. Go get it, baby. Get some for old JC. Get some. Oh, shit. Heads up. Shit. Smash. Well, there's that devil dog. He's a squealing. Like a bunchy butt fuck basher beat you! <laughs> Don't fuck yourself! We gonna suffer the spectacle of a WM with a bunch of horny devil dogs treading their stern! Get yourself squared up here! Go. You're inappropriating your chemical filtration device by attempting fornication with it! Jesus, not to tell you not to desecrate your mask with perversions! Why the fuck are your helmets? A week ago, they didn't know we could see their thermals at night. Now they're adapting. Didn't work for that guy. Marshall, this is 2-1. Who the fuck is shooting at us? Fucking time. LAPD cops from Delta. They fucking love shooting Mexicans. It was Alpha, Gabe. Alpha. Mistakes happen. 2-1 actual, what's your status? Everyone likes to shoot Mexicans. Even Mexicans. Sniper, he's in front of us. How can you tell? You can only hear that clearly when he's directly in front of the rifle barrel. Zip zip. Means it's passing a few meters from our ears. One at a time. Colbert, go. Mounting. Set. I got no muzzle flashes. Rudy, go. Mounting. Set. Level, go. Mounting. All right, Pope, go. Bounding! Ah. Set! Reporter, you ready? Yes! Go! Officer. Reporter, what the fuck was that? 
Serpentine shell, serpentine. You know, the movie, The In-Laws. Peter Falk tells Alan Arkin, oh, he's running in a serpentine fashion. I was running evasively. Next time we come under fire, run in a straight line, you'll live longer. Have a full, happy life of betraying us and others with your vena lies. <laughs>